Simon, nil-nil draw at Boreham Wood. A very hard-fought point, I thought. Yeah, it's an all hard fought in this league and uh, certainly tonight was a difficult test for us. A uh, different kind of test, you know, different change of shape, for, different shape for Bournemouth than we've played uh, previously. So that caused us some, some different problems. Um, obviously losing JJ uh, pre-match with a, with a slight injury. Uh, we then we made a change, so that was different for us. And uh, yeah, listen, we've come through it, we've worked hard, we've got a good point out of it. I feel like I'm saying similar to what I said against Aldershot on Maidenhead. Whilst the hosts have had pressure this evening, I don't recall Eamon other than making a stop just at that near post next to you. Don't recall him making anything significant. No, no again, listen, we defended well and I thought first half, anything, we had the better chances. You know, it, it wasn't a game of loads of chances, uh, but it's a tight pitch uh, here and, and, and I thought first half we had probably maybe just the better chances. So, again, I said to him after the game, you'll play well 10 games a season maximum. You know, you'll play average for a period of the games this season and you'll play poorly uh, at least 10 times a season. You know, it's what you do when you play poorly that matters. Today, we haven't played well in possession of the ball, but we've dug in, we've been tight, we've been compact, we've worked hard as a team, we've put our bodies on the line and we haven't played well and we've come away with a good point. We spoke the first time you came in about perhaps the side hadn't been working for each other. In the last three games, it's anything but that. They're Everyone to a man, I thought, put a right shift in. Yeah, listen, you know, and that's that's what I asked from them. Um, I say I'm, I don't know what's gone on previous to, to me coming in, but you know, I've got to say the boys have been first class with their reaction to me. You know, um, <clears throat> they've been diligent in their work, they've been hard working, they've been honest, they put their bodies on the line. You know, they've been a real collective team, and, and you know, I've got a big emphasis on team here. You know, together everyone achieves more. You know, that's on the wall in the dressing room and that's us. We have to, you know, we haven't had a good season by any stretch of the imagination, but we're only going to be better if we start working as a team. You know, we've done that the last three games, you know, two clean sheets. We haven't done that before um, in three games, you know, unbeaten in three games. I don't think we've done that this season. So, you know, there's small steps, you know, we've got to be better in possession, but I can't fault the lads' uh, effort today. It was first class in a tough schedule now. The boys must be in there delighted, of course, we'd sooner win matches, but to go from a side that was getting beaten heavily on the road to coming to this, they must be really enjoying their football again. Oh, I hope so. And listen, it's never going to be easy. I said to them at half-time, listen, I'll tell you now, football ain't easy. You're going to spend away from home, time without the ball. You've got to be structured. You've got to work hard. You've got to give everything for your team. And if you do that, you'll get your rewards. Today, good point on the way away from home for us. We was all of them things and we come away with a good point. Moving on to the attacking side of it, you said there, I thought we actually had the best chance of probably the entire match. Tommy Adloy did really well to find some space. He was, might be unlucky not to open the scoring. Yeah, you know, good strong hand by the goalie down to his right, to be fair to him. He made a good save there. I thought, you know, Mason's chance first off. Um, you know, just a little bit more composure with a touch, and that was a, that would have been a great opportunity for us. Yeah, so, you know, we had we had moments, and again, if we're organised and hard working in this league, certainly chances will come. You will get chances, and listen, we have to be better in possession of ball. We know that, but you know, today, you know, I can't fault the lads' effort, and it's a good point for us. It'll be another difficult test on Saturday away at Altrim, having a decent first season back in the national league, mm -hmm. but maybe. A a chance to for us to excel ourselves at the other end of the pitch. Well, hopefully we, we've um, you know Courtney. We've got Courtney back available, so Courtney will come into the reckoning. Obviously, uh, Toby come on and put a really good shift in today. Mo came on as a sub and, and done well for us. So you know, there's some tired bodies in there, and we'll look at the squad. But we've certainly got. Hopefully, JJ won't be too long. It's not a major thing. It was just a, a tightness. Um, so we got Courtney back, so that will give us fresh impetus at the top end of the pitch and, and say every game's different in this league and I've watched a little bit of Altrincham, they, you know, they started, they played good football tonight, they're open and expansive certainly at home, so it will be a different test uh, than we faced at Maidenhead but similar to the one tonight. Just lastly, Simon, fans will be really enjoying what they're seeing from this Barnet team, particularly in, in terms of results, but we certainly won't be resting on our laurels. It's another step back in the right direction, but we've got plenty of room to improve again. Yeah, listen, 
you know we've got lots and lots of uh, improving to do you know what on and off the pitch um, and we need to improve this club and this team by 22 places you know that's my aim when I when I come in here we need to improve that now to do that's going to take a lot of hard work but you know I've got boys in there who are giving their all and that's all I can ask from them